AT&T's strategy is really simple. We're moving everything that we can possibly move into software-defined networking. The flexibility that it provides for us, the rich features, they're just dramatically better than we can deploy any other way. So to say that we're both feet in would be an understatement. We're literally all in. Intel has always been willing to invest in R&D behind driving change into ecosystems. We have a long history of working with Intel to move through some of those changes that have hit our industry. We have some joint R&D investments. We have people working with one another. When you have two organizations like AT&T and Intel, philosophically aligned and tactically deployed, special things happen. We finished our first deployments, but the question really is, uh, the great one is, how do customers perceive it? What are the differences? And the differences are really around the, what we define the user-defined network cloud is what we call it. And when you talk to the customers that have seen and touched this, it's the user-defined portion. The, the, not only are they elated with how simple it is to interface, but first customer actually said, wow, I actually feel like I'm programming your network. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Success for us down the road looks like a transformation of our entire customer-facing network. I think Intel is going to play an important role because we're not going to be able to solve some of these technical hurdles ourselves, particularly as we get through the first and second waves of maybe the simpler parts of deployment and get into the really high performance stuff that people today can't conceive of being able to accomplish. And so that's where AT&T and Intel are a powerful combination because the I can't conceive how that would be is the area that, that we're going to get to and I'm very confident we're going to succeed at it.